How's it going guys, it's Raider Knight. And today I just wanted to show you guys my future world scenario uh, that I've been working on. I think it's really cool and it's actually a pretty interesting scenario. Uh, it takes place in the year 2050 and what I wanted to do was kind of make it somewhat realistic so I didn't really have too many conflicts because in our current climate of the world uh, a lot of the wars have been going down and we really haven't seen as many large-scale conflicts so I didn't really change too much uh, in terms of conflicts from our modern scenario. So for the Yemen Civil War I ended up having two different countries end up forming from that war. Uh, up here in Syria I had the Kurdistan form uh, along with Syria in the Syrian War and uh, over here I let uh, I've never been able to pronounce this. I'm not even going to try, but I let them go independent. And I also let Somaliland go independent. Uh, I made the African Union, and I tried to add a couple countries that I think would join. I think a lot of them would join, but uh, I think some of them wouldn't. I think I might re-add Zimbabwe because, I mean, I don't really think they'd join. They're kind of, you know, what we'd call a dictatorship. <laughs> but, uh... I think there's a lot of countries down here that probably wouldn't join the African Union, but you never really know, so uh, if you guys want, I can disband this and I can just add all the countries back, because I think an African Union is possible by 2050, but I don't think it's completely possible at the same time, so I might disband this, I haven't really decided, but uh, it does make for a decent challenge against the, the EU, so I might keep them, because they are pretty powerful. I also had two countries form from the Libyan war. Uh, obviously, the civil war has caused a divide between the west and the east, so I kind of made this one like a dictatorship and this one, you know, leaning more to our western democracy. And I think that'd be an interesting little scenario in this. Uh, obviously, I have the EU formed up. I made Kaliningrad independent. I made Belarus or Belarus, uh, a communist country, uh, and they might, I think in the future, uh, it wouldn't really be that unlikely that they join Russia, but at the same time, Belarus might never uh, join Russia again, so I'll just keep them here, they're just a little communist country, uh, you never really know, they might join Russia, I don't know. Uh, Ukraine, they still lost Crimea, but I didn't really think a conflict would happen. Uh, it might, so really anything could happen with this. This might even be part of the EU, uh, but I don't want the EU to be overpowered at the same time. Uh, the UK is independent, and uh, I made them a democracy because if they're a monarchy, their color looks too much like the EU, and I didn't want it to confuse me, so I just made it like this. But uh, just pretend it's a, uh, a, a monarchy. Uh, obviously, I added a, a few small countries over here that are independent, like Majorca and Catal Catalonia, uh, with Barcelona as their capital. So, I think these would probably leave Spain at some point uh, in the future. It makes a little bit of sense, because they speak uh, a different language. Uh, Cantalan, or however you pronounce it. Uh, and I think they might leave. It's very unlikely that they would. But uh, just for fun, I decided for our future scenario, they left before the EU formed or something, I don't know. Something small like that. But uh, yeah, there is a, a lot of different uh, large powers in this world. Not really that much changed in uh, Asia aside from a united Korea, which uh, is maybe possible in the future. Probably not, but uh, you never know. And overall, not really that much more changes aside from that in the old world. Uh, over here in the new world, I didn't really change anything. I don't think anything changed at all over here. So the new world probably wouldn't change at all uh, in the next couple of years. I think the only thing that might happen is maybe a Venezuelan civil war uh, in our like modern timeline uh, going to 2050. Uh, it's very likely that a civil war would take place in Venezuela, so... Uh, I, it might happen. I might change that up if you guys think that'd be cool, but where do you guys think a, a civil war would happen if it was in Venezuela? I'm not really sure. And would the USA get involved? They probably would. Let's be realistic. Uh, because 
I don't know. I just think this area is probably going to have some problems in the future. Uh, but aside from that, not really too much different with the scenario. I wanted to keep it kind of realistic. And I didn't really have too many map changes that would really make sense. So I didn't really do too much to our modern world. So hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.